Okay, so today we're going to talk about similarity. So sim similarity is when we have an object and it's either been enlarged or reduced or decreased. And so in the end, its dimensions have been, say if we've enlarged it, they've been enlarged by the same amount. So we can say they're similar if that's happened. So if you have a look at this first um, domino, can you see the little one has a side of three and say the big side is six. So if this was, cause this is, they're gonna say they're similar, they're exactly the same. So the sides have doubled. So say I said this side, sorry, was one centimetre, what would the side of the big one be? No, say this side was one centimetre. So what, ha yeah, it'll be two because this, the side they gave us enlarged by twice, yeah? Times was times by two. So I'd say this is two centimetres. So when they say, and they'll have to say that the word, um, they'll use the wording that it is similar. When it's similar, you can say that their sides are in similar ratio. And that's what I just said then. You know when we said both sides had been multiplied by two? Yeah, so the three, if you times that by two became six. If one, if you multiply it by two, becomes two. So what we're saying is the sides are in similar ratio. They've been enlarged by the same amount. So if they say that the, the shape is similar, you can work out what an unknown side is. So say I said these two triangles are similar. So you can see um, here they're saying that four and went to 12. So what happened when you went from four to 12? You times it by what? Three. So we have this one is five. So if these numbers were, if these shapes were similar, we could times it by three and we'd get that this one is 15. Now you can do it like that, work out, and that's called the scale factor, what you're timesing it by is um, called the scale factor. So for this one, the scale factor um, equals three. But you can work it out um, a different way. Because you can say that the sides are in similar ratio, what you can do is like what they've done here. So I can say, I can put the fraction, so as long as I use the same sides, so I can say four over 12, and because the shapes are similar, that would give me the same fraction as if I did this side, so five over x. So we can set that up like that anyway, every time. So what you need to know is that, see how um, these bits, if you go across there, that's from the same shape. Do you get what I mean by that? This one is, the smaller triangle and that one is thin. Now, if you go, if you look at it down this way, they're the same sides, they're the corresponding sides. So if you set it up like that, you can always find out the unknown. And how would I do that? If I've got this, essentially I have four over 12 equals five over X. How would you guys go about solving that on your calculator if you didn't have? We can use solve there, you know that? So because I've got something equaling something and I only have one unknown, you can type that into your calculator and comma X. So you can use this every time, it doesn't matter. So it makes it easier. You always have your calculator. You can always use the solve and you can always just write that working out and that is fine and that is correct. So just to go over what we said, um, that the scale factor is how much it's enlarged or reduced by. So it depends which way you go. So just be careful. If I have, say, a big triangle and I go to a smaller one, say I go from three to one, that's actually a scale factor of a third, one third, okay? So how you work out your scale factor is 
um, and we might want to write this down. So scale factor can be found by going the new image, so the one you've gone to, over the original image. So see there, if I'd gone, if I try to find, and sometimes they use the letter K for scale factor. So if I did the new image was one over the original image, which was three. See how I can get the scale factor? If you get a fraction, like say up here, if I have a look at this scale factor, so see how they've done here, we could say equals um, new image over original. So see how the new image was six and the original was three? If you, you need to simplify that if you can, and we can, can't we? Six over three equals two. So that's where you can get scale factor of two. All right, so I'm just pause it there. All right, so let's have a look at, um, we're gonna look at similar triangles. So you can do the same thing with similar triangles that you can say their sides, if they tell me they're similar, I can say that their sides are in similar ratio, which is like what we were doing before. So how do you know if the triangles are similar? So triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal. So if you don't get what that means, what that means is say I have a triangle like this and I have 90, um, 20, 70, sorry, just making that up. That can be the same even if I have a big one of the same thing where it's 90, 20, 70. So even though their sides are not the same length, their angles are, so that makes them similar triangles. So that's one thing that you can have. If um, they can also be similar if their sides are in similar ratio. So what that means is, is like before. Say I had this is three, two, and four, and then I draw a bit bigger one, sorry, and I said that's six, eight, and four. Can you see they've all been multiplied by two? So they're in similar ratio. If I did the same size, if I do three over six, what does that equal? One half. If I do two over four, what does that equal? One half. So can you see how they're in similar ratio? And I do four over eight would be one half. So that's what they're similar if they're like that. And the other way you can tell if they're similar, two pairs of sides are corresponding, are in the same ratio, and one angle is equal. So that means if two sides, you can see the two sides have been enlarged by the same amount and there's an angle that's the same in there. So um, let's have a look at this example down here. So the sides of one similar shape are all proportional to the sides of the other. So what they're saying, if the shapes are similar, they've been enlarged or reduced by the same amount. Every side has. So here it says calculate the unknown length. So if you have a look, I'm going to show you how this, these two triangles are actually similar and we'll prove it. Now, can you see we have a um, 90 degrees there? So both triangles have a 90 degrees, yes? Now, can you see, do you remember back to angles? Do you remember if you have crossing angles that they're equal? Do you remember that? So now I'm saying those two are equal. So if I have two angles in a triangle that are equal, then this one, these ones must be equal as well. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. So what you need to do when you get ones like this is you probably need to draw them out looking the same way because at the moment they don't look the same. They're like connect. So I like to draw them out. So I'm drawing this big one here, this first one. This is the one I'm drawing first and I've got 2x now I can't see what that says um, 36 okay and that's what I know and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put that that's where my red dot is and that's where my purple dot is now I'm going to move I'm going to redraw this one okay but I'm going to redraw it around the same way okay so I've got the um, black 
the 90 degrees there and I'm just gonna put uh, my red dot would be up the top and my purple dot will be down the bottom okay so I go and have a look what do I know I know the distance between the blue and the red dot uh, sorry the blue 90 degrees and the red dot so can you see I know that is that true yeah I know that's 18 and what other side do I know I know this one so yep yeah, good 1.2x the hypotenuse excellent so what I can do now is set up those ratios that I said before which means just set up the same side over the same side so I can say 2x over what's the same 18 yeah equals 36 over 1.2x now I'm just going to go and check now are these from the same triangle is this number a number yeah these numbers are same triangle that's good um, and then going downwards are they from the same uh, the same side yeah. yeah are they paired up the gets the right way mm -hmm. yeah so once that's done you can do that you just double check that you've done that and then we can just go pop into our calculator solve we can still use solve here because we only have X that we don't know so if you only have one letter that you don't know solve will work as long as we've got an equal sign in there so we'll go do that on our calc all right so we solved that and we got X equals what was it? 16? Uh, 16.431. I'll just say 16.4.